ارزش آم When I was researching your work, I came across one in particular. <laughs> just really, just really got my goat, you know. <laughs> that goat just got got, you know. It was the bottom of a skateboard that you painted, and it had the graphic of uh, a man. Mm -hmm. It said, "Congratulations, it's a man," and a little, a little man just coming out of a woman's cat bag. Yeah, and it was bloody. That one in particular really got me because it it had the word man in it. <laughs> uh, can you explain that one? I don't know if I, I don't know. <laughs> that is so, that is so beautiful. It's like the ocean, it's crashing, just, <laughs> just crashing on you all the time, every night. It's a lot like that. You're from Minnesota, I read. Mm hmm And you live in California. Correct. Reminds me of a new Soundgarden song I heard. How so? It goes. I'm feeling Minnesota. And their bombs, and their tanks, and their tanks, and their bombs, and their guns, and their sunglasses in California. That's Soundgarden? Yep, it's their new album. Do you feel that your art has changed over the years? And then you've come back to a certain theme that you feel is important? Do I feel that's what I've done? Have you worked on things and then thought about them and said, "No, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one." And then, and then you, and then when you get to that one, you just say, "No, I'm gonna stick with this old thing." Do you, do you ever just like go back to an old thing, where it's like an old standby? that you really like and redraw it no that just episode. stylistically like just like a skull or blood blood you go back you go back to blood you go back to blood sometimes it's a reoccurring theme i guess do you like blood yeah that reminds I mean, me of when when zima started putting out brown zima in the in the early two thousands, because people just didn't like Zima anymore, and and then Zima got a huge backlash. Of being just like, where is the clear Zima? Where is the clear Zima? We love the clear Zima. We don't want any more brown Zima. And then Zima, like you said, like you got rid of the blood, and you're like, oh well, shit, I need more blood. And then that's what Zima did, and got and got brought back the clear Zima, and then and then and then they just like splayed it out on the blanket. It's like here you go, here's it back. Here's the blood bag. Here's the clear Zima bag. That, I, I didn't say anything remotely like that. Um, do you love the ocean still? Still? I have a high school friend. I have lots of high school friends. And they're working on a show of my invention, <laughs> like your skateboard. It's a reality show. It gets a whole bunch of guys, and we take them out in the woods to a cabin. No electricity. No running water. All they have is their computers, and they have to survive through blogging. It's called Blog Cabin. Is that possible? Won't the no electricity part be an issue with the computers and... Or no?
If I was a sailor, I'd salute you. I'd salute you anyway, I don't even care. Not, never sailed. Scared of the water. Y you know I'm not good at goodbyes. <laughs> We've trimmed bushes. Stared at the sun. That's our only son, you know. Yeah. I just. I'm, I'm not good at letting go. I just. I hold on to things for way too long and. <laughs> because once something makes me feel good, I just. I just, for whatever reason, I just. I like it. <laughs> Do you feel the same way? Like, when things make you feel good? I like them. Yeah. <laughs> we have that. We have that together. We do have that. But you're the, you're the first MILF I've ever interviewed. Uh. And I just have to... S I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end it. I'm Magnus Randell, and this was my Inquisition of Todd Bradford. <laughs>